Hey guys, what's up everyone? How are you people doing? Welcome back to today's session. Hoping that all of you guys are doing good and taking very, very good care of yourself. So today people, this is going to be for C sorry, ICC 10th uh, chapter number one force selection number four where we'll be talking about center of gravity but before we get started let me introduce myself my name is Anup Manoharan and I'm a master teacher of science here with Antu so very warm welcome to all of you guys out there hoping that all of you guys are once again taking very very good care of yourself anyways guys so with that said let us now get started with today's session which is nothing but understanding about center of gravity but before that Hold your horses. We have a quote as always, and the quote for this uh, for today's session is this: "Strive for progress, not perfection." And I stand by that for sure because these are words which are said in uh, one of the greatest movie that was ever made, uh, Three Idiots. And if you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched it, please do watch it. So it was that uh, I know that uh, that uh, quote which says that don't go for perfection because yes, you might not attain it. So you uh, always try to you know uh, move one step ahead. Don't just stand. Always look for pro you know progress. So make sure that you no matter how slow the progress is, it is still progress itself. If you are taking one step ahead, that is still progress. So don't worry about perfection, getting it done in the best possible way. Focus on uh, focus on progress so that you're able to improve yourself every single day at whatever you're doing. All right, guys. So with that said, let us get started with today's session. So if you guys uh, do not know already, we have already completed three topics of uh, this particular chapter that is talk and couple. We talked about uh, equilibrium and principle of moments. We also talked, we also did some problems regarding torque and principle of moments as well. Today, our focus is going to be on understanding the center of gravity. But yes, guys, uh, in the last session, if you guys remember numericals uh, on talk and uh, moment of uh, principle of moments, I'd actually given you a particular homework towards the end of the session. First of all, a big round of applause to all those who gave the right answer. Hats off, people. Uh, it's good to see that you guys are answering it. Well done. Keep up the good work. So the question was this. An iron building of a, a iron rod of a building is three meters broad. It can be opened by applying a force of 100 Newton, normally at the middle of the road. rod. Calculate the torque needed to open the door. So they've given you the distance of the rod. They've given you the force applied. You're supposed to calculate the torque. It's actually a pretty straightforward question, but there's a little twist here. That is, it's not 300. That's one thing I'll tell you. The reason is guys, you see this, the force is generally applied in the middle of the rod. So middle of the rod, if it's a three meter rod, then the middle is somewhere between, uh, somewhere at 1.5 meter. So basically the force is applied over here. The force of 100 Newton is applied over here so just find out the torque you remember the formula of torque torque is nothing but force into the perpendicular distance so it'll be one point sorry 100 into 1.5 which would give me the answer as 150 newton meter Simple as that, guys. So that is the answer for this question. A big round of applause to all those gave the right answer. Here are some of the superstars who did give the right answer really, really fast. That was Sain, Suhas, Raga, well done, people. Nitya, Gya, Vani, and Bhagat as well. Hats off, guys. Hats off to you, people. Keep up the good work. I hope to see more such, you know, amazing response from you, from you people. Well done. With that said, guys, now everyone focus because right now we're going to talk about center of gravity. So let's start with something related to our Earth. You guys know this from the start that Earth is ro rotating around its own axis and it's also revolving around the Sun. So it's rotating as well as revolving. Now, Earth also does one more thing. That is, Earth attracts everything towards its center. For example, if I were to throw this pen, the pen would come back down. Why? Because the Earth also has its own gravitational field or gravity which basically pulls everything down to the center. Now, the force that is applied on an object is what is called as its weight. So weight is what? The force by which Earth pulls anything towards the center. If you guys remember the formula of weight, weight which is represented as W is, is equal to mass of the body into the acceleration due to gravity of the Earth. So that is the formula. So what is weight? The force that is applied on the object by the Earth's gravitation, that is what is called as weight. Now, I want you guys to remember these terms because I'll be using a lot of these terms as we go ahead. So don't get confused, all right? So what is weight? Weight is nothing but the force of gra the, 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 the amount of force that is applied on an object uh, by the Earth's gravitation is what is called as weight. So weight is nothing but mass into acceleration due to gravity. Now, here's the thing, guys. I told you this one case statement that Earth attracts everything towards the center. All right? I didn't say it was towards the side. I didn't say it was towards the top or towards the bottom. I said towards the center. Now, this center or the center point 
where the earth's weight the earth's weight is concentrated is called as the center of gravity all right so basically everything is pulled towards the center of gravity of the earth so no matter what object you throw up it is attracted towards the center of gravity of the earth now i want you to remember this also center of gravity of the earth now i'm going to talk about how this is achieved or basically how we can find out the center of gravity of an object and what exactly is this center of gravity now just like how the earth has its own center of gravity all object also have its own center of gravity no matter what object you take they all have its own center of gravity now the center of gravity that we talk about is related to two things one is the gravitational pull of the earth and other the weight of the object that is the force that is applied on the object by the gravitational force so the force of the gravitational object the sorry the force by which the earth is attracting it towards the center as well as the gravitational force is what the center of gravity depends on now for example guys let's say i want to balance or i want i take a simple notebook and i basically try to balance it out now there is one point on this notebook you could try this out so there's only one point on this notebook where you can see that you're able to achieve perfect balance now the same goes with maybe a broom if you try out a broom also you see that there's a single point where the entire weight is acting and it's balanced now i could try this with a simple pen all right so imagine this pen all right i'll try to find out the center of gravity of this one you see this there's a point where it's balanced now what is the importance of this see guys the weight is the weight of the body is acting downwards right that is a force acting on this because of gravity that is acting downwards now i am also applying a force in the opposite direction to counteract that right so let's say that the earth is pulling it towards uh, the uh, you know the there's a weight of 10 newton all right and i'm i'm also applying a force of 10 newton so what happens they will cancel each other out and the body just stands still so the importance of understanding the center of gravity is to basically uh, first of all find the balance of the object and more importantly it is a point it is a point where the entire mass of the body or not the mass entire weight of the body is concentrated so no matter what object you take when you say center of gravity of the object is so and so point on the object that is basically the point it's an imaginary line or in, in it's an imaginary point where the entire weight of the body is set to be concentrated so if i counteract that weight what happens is that the body basically gets balanced you know probably seen you know people you know especially the uh, uh, you know in the what to say if you go to a circus you probably seen people uh, balancing so many things on their head or they are able to balance so many things on their hand all of that is because of the fact that they found out the center of gravity and they basically apply a force on that center of gravity to counteract the force by which earth is pulling it towards the center now here's the thing guys the center of gravity and the center of mass for pretty much all kinds of object lie in the same point all right the center of gravity and the center of mass for pretty much all kinds of object it lies in the same point now what is the difference first of all let me tell you that what is the clear difference between center of gravity and center of mass center of mass is the point on the body where the entire mass of the body is concentrated the entire mass of the body is concentrated center of gravity is the point where the entire weight of the body is concentrated mass and weight two different quantities that point is what is called as the center of mass and center of gravity now generally the points are on the same point now there's a condition for that see if the body is near the earth's surface near the earth's surface then it's going to be the same all right it's the center of gravity and the center of mass will be the same but if you go to space if you go further and further away from the earth's surface then the points might be different for the same object for for now imagine this is the center of gravity all right so i'm trying to balance it out so center of gravity and the center of mass is the same for this object all right but if i take this to space it might vary the center of gravity might be different different and the center of mass might also be different now what is the center of mass if you just look at this particular example we have uh, in the past we have seen about the principle of moments right we also talked about the equilibrium uh, the principle of equilibrium principle of moments in equilibrium right so we saw that the body is basically rotating about a point which is the fulcrum in this case now if you look at this you see that the fulcrum is basically the point of the center of mass so basically what i'm trying to say is that 
when a body is let's say i toss this pen up what will happen it will start rotating now what you have to understand is this guys that the way that it rotates it's basically that it rotates about its center of mass or its center of gravity so when i start tossing this pen up it will start rotating but that rotation is basically about the center of gravity itself all right so here also you see that it's balanced at that point why because if you look at it the moment created by the right hand side is counteracted by the moment created by the left hand side the principle of moment in equilibrium we've already seen that that is count uh, the clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment so if both of them are equal then the body is said to be in equilibrium so here also you see this the center of mass is basically on the fulcrum and more importantly it is balanced because both the moments are equal now talking about the center of gravity guys the center of gravity is the point where the torque from the mass is said to be zero now what do i mean by this exactly here's the thing guys now i told you that this is the center of uh, we saw if i talk about this simple pen this is the center of gravity of this pen so if i apply a force over there it does not cause rotational motion it basically if i apply a force what will happen the body would move straight it, it moves linearly it does not provide or it does not cause any kind of rotational motions so that means that the torque if the if the sum of all the you know if, if the sum of the masses produces zero torque in that particular place then you can say that that is the center of gravity so center of gravity is a place again the point at which the torque would be zero because whatever force i apply over here the body would move in a linear line it will move straight it will basically uh, you know position itself in a straight line it will not create any kind of rotational motion at the same time if i were to apply a force other than the center of gravity you see this if i apply a force over here it'll start rotating about that particular point so that is why center of gravity is such an important concept all right with that said guys now the position of the center of mass of an object is basically the sum of the clockwise moment about the center is equal to basically it will be equal that is right like i told you again the uh, equilibrium principle principle of moment uh, in equilibrium we've already seen that that the sum of a clockwise moment is equal to sum of the anti clockwise moment that basically it would be the center of mass now there are again for bodies if you are talking about for bodies which are symmetric in nature symmetric in the sense basically the the other half of the object will be the exact copy or it's a replica the both the both sides have the same geometric shape or it is a replica in those kind of geometric objects like for example a circle or simply a uh, simply a line or uh, if you talk about a rectangle a triangle all of these kind of geometric objects the center of mass basically is the geometric center itself so what whatever is the geometric center for example if you talk about a circle the geometric center is basically the center itself so that will be the center of mass and the center of gravity as well but that is not the case for non symmetric object or irregular shaped objects now to, to find out the center of gravity or the center of mass for these kind of irregular object there is a particular method to do it so for example guys imagine this is the shape all right so it's an irregular shape and i want to find out what is the center of gravity or the center of mass of this object so what i can do is that basically take three points first take three points any three points you take drill a hole in those three points all right then what you do is that suspend it so take a pin hold it and suspend it freely so what will happen if you just hold it like that it'll start uh, you know oscillating and then finally come to a state of rest so keep that point all right draw a straight line from there once it stops oscillating draw a straight line from there all right so this is what it will look like so you draw a straight line from there all right then take the next point do the exact same thing over there also first of all let it oscillate let it come to a state of rest then draw a straight line from there also do the same for the third point also so like this it will look like this so this is the first point this is the second point so first you know hold it in that pen and let it oscillate let it come to a state of rest then only then draw a straight line from there do the same do it for the third point also now wherever the line all the three line intersect wherever all the three line intersects that would be the center of gravity of that object so imagine this is the first line that is the second line and let's take another point that will be the third line so wherever the line intersects that will be the center of gravity or the center of mass of an irregular object now again guys it will differ if in case if i go like i told you if it go if i go in this in uh, out of space it might differ but this is how you find out the center of gravity of an object with irregular shape you see this so you draw a straight line 
again on the straight line wherever it you know wherever you're suspending it so which wherever the line meets this would be the center of gravity which can be represented as cg as simple as that all right guys now that you understood this let us do some questions obviously we're going to be doing some questions based on this so hope you guys are ready for it now these questions are not that hard it's actually pretty uh, straightforward and there are not many problems also that i'll be asking in this particular session anyways here's the first question guys at which point the center of gravity is situated in a triangular lamina okay uh, at which point the center of gravity is situated in a triangular lamina a circular lamina and a uniform ring so you're supposed to find out what is the center of gravity in all of these so for a triangular lamina the way okay i don't think there are any okay so this is what it looked like so a triangular lamina uh, a circular lamina and a uniform ring so in this case basically guys all you have to do is basically uh for to find out the center of gravity of a triangle so from each of the vertices draw a line to the midpoint so draw a line to the midpoint of the opposite side so from here which from each vertex draw mid from draw a line to the exactly midpoint of that uh, of the other side the opposite side wherever this intersects i'm not exact i mean my diagrams are a little weird but still wherever the line intersects that will be the center of gravity of this so of this triangle in in the case of a circle you can just again you can just take any two points or basically the center of the circle itself you can do it the other way also like uh, a two uh, dot to uh, you know diameters where it intersects but yes if you do not know the center but the center of the circle would be the say uh, the center of gravity for a circle the same goes with a ring also the center of gravity so see guys from this what you understand is that sometimes the center of gravity the center of mass might lie outside the object also it's not that it should always lie on the object sometimes it might lie out, outside the object also it does not mean that it's wrong so in this case you can see that the ring is on the outside the center of gravity is not on the uh, not lying on the object but it's lying outside the object but it does not mean that it's wrong so this would be the center of gravity for this object as well at the center itself all right guys so that will be the center of gravity so again uh, at that point basically the weight of the object is acting that is what it means all right now here's the second question guys the center of gravity of a hollow co cone of height h is at a distance of x from its vertex where the value of x is what h by 3 h by 4 2h by 3 or 2h by 4 now this question might seem a little odd but it's actually a pretty simple question so the center of gravity of a hollow cone of height h is at a distance of x from its vertex all right so where the uh, where the what is the value of x so you're supposed to find out what is the value of x so here's the question guys so i'll just draw it out for you guys first draw a cone yeah my cone yes anyways so i'll draw the uh, the one second i'll draw the height of the cone as well yes so the height of the cone is from this point yeah so this is the height of the cone the h all right the question is what is the so basically the center of gravity would lie somewhere over here all right it lies somewhere over here now you supposed to find out what is this distance from the vertex from the top what is this distance that is what you're supposed to find out now first of all guys you have to understand that the center of gravity of a hollow cone from the base from the base is basically h by 3 all right h by 3 is the center of gravity of a cone in uh, from its base all right now the the height of the circle the height of the cone is basically h all right just subtract it to find because if this is the total distance if this distance is h by 3 subtract it so h minus h by 3 is basically what 3 h minus h divided by 3 so that will give you 2 h by 3 that's all guys so the answer to this question is basically 2h by 3 as simple as that now you just have to remember this that from the base of the cone the so the center of gravity lies at a distance of h by 3 so whatever is the height 1 by 3rd of that height would give you the uh, you know the center of gravity for cone so if you know this you would be able to find out the answer so that is the answer guys so the answer to this question would be option number c that is 2h by 3 simple as that right move on to the next question guys here's another interesting question a uniform flat circular ring is balanced on a sharp vertical nail by supporting it at a point a 
mark the position of the center of gravity of the rim rim in the diagram by the letter g so you're supposed to find out where is the center of gravity of this particular object and the uh, you see the clamp there's a wall it is stuck to a wall there's a rim and that is the nail a now the answer to this question actually guys is pretty straightforward First of all, because it's balanced on the nail, you can say that the center of gravity lies somewhere over there. So you can say that the center of gravity of this object is over here. It's over here, right below the nail, outside the body. So the right answer, guys, would be actually over here. So the center of gravity for this object would be over here. Because why? Because the nail, the entire nail is supporting the rim, right? So the, all, all of that weight is supported by the rim itself. So you can say that the center of gravity it lies somewhere over there itself. You can uh, draw it over there. You can denote it as this point below the nail, outside the object. So that is that will be the answer for this question, guys. I know it might be a little confusing, but that is the answer for this question. All right, moving on to the last question, guys. Here we go. A square cardboard is suspended by passing a pin through a narrow hole at one of its corner. Draw a diagram to show its rest position in the diagram. Mark the point of suspension by letter S and the center of gravity G. So imagine a square board, guys. Imagine a board like this, all right? A square board. Now. Well, let's say that one of the point is basically suspended, all right? So what would the resting position be? This is what the resting position would be. So you take any other points, it'll be like this. So first of all, draw a, 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 a triangle, which a square, sorry, not a triangle, sorry, a square, which looks like that. So this will be the resting position. So it almost look like what I just showed you right now. So this is, this is the, I mean, it's not a square. Let me just draw a proper square. So that'll be the resting position. I just showed you how the resting position would be. So this would be the resting position of the object. So this is where it is suspended. It's not exactly, I mean, my diagrams are not exactly correct, but yes, this is how the resting position would be. Suppose to find out what is the center of gravity as well, all right? And the center of gravity for a square is again, it's geometric center. So geometric center is what basically if you draw a line from here to here and here to here, wherever it intersects, that will be the center of gravity as simple as that guys. so the right answer to this question would be option that that what i just showed you so i yeah like i told you my diagram is not exactly correct so basically if you just draw it like this it's, this is also a rectangle so yes if you draw it like that you'll be able to get the answer for this question all right so my diagram is a little wrong but yes you get the idea of it all right so this is how it looked like so the center of gravity is over here uh wherever the lights intersect and this would be the point where it is suspended so that's it guys that is it from my side with that said this is your homework for today the homework is so you're supposed to find out where is the center of gravity of a uniform ball located now i want all of you guys to uh draw it out and post a picture in the comment section below let me see how many figures are able to do it all right so where is the center of gravity of a uniform ball or if you want to write the formula down that is also perfectly fine do let in let me know what is the answer for this question in the comment section below with that said guys thank you for joining hope you guys enjoyed today's session hope you learned something out of today's session thank you for joining uh, if you like the video, do like it, share, subscribe. And if you want to reach out to me, you can also reach out to me at this email ID, anup.manoharan at the rate vedantu.com. If you have any doubts or queries, you can obviously reach out to me on that, right? Thank you for joining, guys. See you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. And bye-bye. Good night, guys. Take care.